The Celtics believe they can take LeBron and the Cavs, even if nobody else does. Beantown's going to be rocking. Five games go tied for first place in the Eastern Conference. Stephen A., you will be in Boston tonight for this game to witness it firsthand. <laughs> I yes, I will. Uh, let's hear what LeBron had to say about the matchup. All right. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm not one to uh, get caught up in regular season big games or not. I'm, I'm sorry. I've, I've been to six straight finals, man. I was, <laughs> I'm the last person to ask about a regular season game, dude. Sorry. I appreciate the pass and what he's done. Downplaying something like this, what's your reaction to Le what LeBron said last night? I agree with him 1,000%. I mean, I think that we have to recognize who we're talking about here. We can nitpick and, and look at a Tristan Thompson uh, dispute with LeBron James at a particular moment in the game or what have you, but LeBron James has graduated and elevated himself to a point where it is almost insulting to question him about regular season games when it's clear that the finals are on his mind. The man has been to six straight NBA finals. He is a four-time league MVP. He's been to seven finals overall. He's a three-time champion. And more importantly, he gets judged by what happens in May and June more so than anything else. If he were judged by what happens in a regular season, that would be different. But we just do that stuff because he's LeBron James and, he's make, and he makes news and he's newsworthy. But we really, really know better than to really gauge anything about him in the regular season. It's about the postseason. That's when he's going to be judged. And he is the one person in the entire NBA that has the cachet to tell everybody Chill out, calm down, <laughs> come talk to me in May and June. Don't bother me in March or, as for that matter, any time from November through mid-April. Uh, let's talk about the postseason because you've told us that you don't think the Cavs need that number one seed. Nope. But what about the Celtics? Do they, they do. Yeah. They do. The road needs to go through Boston. I think Washington could beat Boston if Boston didn't have home court advantage over them. I think Toronto could give them a run for their money. Boston's having a fabulous season. Brad Stevens is a candidate for coach of the year. Obviously, Isaiah Thomas is a top four candidate for league MVP honors. But in the end, you look at Boston, they definitely look like a team that overachieves. They got a little miniature dynamo who's absolutely sensational and a, ni a lot of nice parts around them. Danny Ainge has done an incredible job with them. But in the end, having folks come to TD Bank Garden is a tough thing for teams to deal with. But it's absolutely what Boston needs to ensure that they could get to the Eastern Conference Finals and to have any chance to beat the Cleveland Cavaliers. Wouldn't you say then it's a really big game for the Cavaliers to kind of stomp all that stuff. Well, if, if hypothetically Boston wins and they're feeling themselves and they eventually well, win yeah, the yeah, that's seat. a different way to ask the question because yeah, I would say if you want to really, really just demoralize yeah. them, that makes it interesting. But when people usually ask me the question about the Cavs needing the number one seed, no, the Cavs do not need the number one <laughs> seed. No, it doesn't matter where you go. People need, need to recognize this. If there is a game seven on the road, covering the NBA for more than 20 years like I have, Officials play a factor. Superstars matter, not just because of their play, but because of their cachet. Who do you think is going to get calls in a game seven? I don't care where the game is at. You think it's going to be Isaiah Thomas or LeBron? You think it's going to be Avery Bradley or LeBron? You think it's going to be <laughs> Kelly Olenek or LeBron? I mean, LeBron is getting the calls. And so it really, really doesn't matter where he goes. He's going to show up. Kyrie is going to show up. But having that cushion that is LeBron James, it does not matter where Game 7 is in the Eastern Conference playoffs. You're going to be at an advantage if you have LeBron. You're going to be at a disadvantage if you don't. Boston needs home court advantage to have a chance. This number one seed is everything to them. It's close to nothing to Cleveland. We'll see that sense of urgency tonight. Stephen A. Smith, top of the hour on first take on ESPN, and then going to Boston tonight for tip-off.